20 weeks client who is doing some testing. He did a non-stress test. Which of this is concerning? So I want to know if you can remember this thing. Which of the, this is very concerning to you, right? This is where you are. Non-stress test. Like I told you right now, define what non-stress test is. And if you know what it is, this will be easy to pick the right answer. First, you have to know what is non-stress test. I give you usually done 28 weeks. Okay, so which of this do you think is concerning? I will label it one, two, three, four, five, six. I intentionally did this so that you can, if you see it next time, you will never forget. I will help you. Acceleration of 15 is the definition of a good acceleration. That's what you're looking for. 15, okay, so this is not concerning. Fetal heart rate, reactive, is a good one. So this is not concerning. Can you figure out the rest now? Fetal heart rate, positive, is not concerning. You get a clue now. You have a fetal heart rate, non reactive, it's concerning. Fetal heart rate negative, it's concerning. Fetal heart rate 10, 10 minutes, it's concerning. This is the definition of non stress test. Okay, do something about this, otherwise, we have a problem. And therefore, what will be the next thing you're going to do? You're going to do contraction stress test. Okay. Contraction testing, right? And this is where you have to look for the keyword is negative assurance. So if this is good, yeah, then we go there. If it's not, then we have a problem, right? So assuming this lady, Deliver the baby, okay? You deliver the baby, and then um, in 12 hours later, the baby was yellow. We have joined this, right? Join this uh, within 24 hours, it's pathological. Therefore, what is your treatment? So I'm taking you from OB to P. So what is the treatment now? So what are you going to do for this baby? So what are you going to do? What is your treatment? How are you going to fix this baby with the pathological joints? Well, you have to know stuff about phototherapy. So let me give you a table and see if you can figure out. I can tell you, you got to cover the baby eyes. It's indicated so that we don't damage the retina, right? You need to cover the genitalia. You don't destroy the uh, male, uh, especially if it's a male. Yeah. Don't lotion them and don't apply ointment. This will keep heat on your body. You're already getting too much heat. It causes too much irritation. Not indicated, not indicated. Trust me, if you go take the ankles and they give you a kid with who need phototherapy and there's none of this answer choices there, let me know. Just give me a call. This is what they're going to ask you. There's nothing they have. They, these are the things mommy want to know, nurses want to know. Can I put lotion on the baby? Can I apply with uh, ointment? No, it's going to absorb it. Should I continue feeding the baby? Well, of course, yes. Should I keep IV fluid? Yes. Should I stop therapy every four hours? This is a trap for a bunch of people. You got to give the kid a break from the phototherapy. So every 
four hours, stop the phototherapy, give the kid break and come back again. So this is indicated. You are not stopping therapy. You're just stopping phototherapy um, for a few minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, and bring the kid back. Reposition every four hours. No, it's every two hours. So this is not indicated. Continue routine care. Yes. So this is what you will expect. Okay. And so this kid continued to have the therapy. What should the nurse be looking for to see if, to, to make sure the phototherapy is working? What is number one thing the nurse need to check to make sure phototherapy is working? Number one thing. The only thing the kid can get rid of that little ruby is to poop. Okay, so bar movement. So you got to check their diaper. The diaper has to be what? Wet and soil. So check the diaper, check the diaper, and check, make sure they're pooping and they're peeing. That's how they can get rid of the Billy Ruby. So we need to check that. So if you make sure we have a wet diaper. That means we're doing great. Greatness is all coming from a wet diaper. Okay. I think um, I've given you enough uh, to think about. Maybe one more thing. So this baby was born, did well. Um, everything went well. Well, uh, a year later, uh, six months later, was seen in clinic, and this is what um, the nurse observed them together, so, like a parcel, right? I always say this thing they connected. There's something that link all of them together. One word, oh, link one word, link all of them together, and uh, Bridget destroyed the thing. Bridget, she got it. Excellent. That's like good, good job right there. You know, putting everything together, going with the buzzwords to be able to identify that problem. That's excellent right there. Microcephaly, smooth fetrum, short pipibral fissure, upper teen lip, poor cycling, poor feeding, and PK is hyperactive. It's what? I call it FAS. So FAS. Fetal alcohol syndrome. That's no good. Therefore, you got to tell, tell her, mommy. I think you drink while you were pregnant. And so we have a problem. Developmental delay. This kid needs social worker. They need a bunch of uh, resources to be able to take care of them. But that's the where you should learn case studies. No, put the words together and you'll be golden. Okay. So assuming the kid was being born, okay. So before that, yeah. The, the, the mother was in labor. Okay. And every time they're trying to she's in like state uh, in stage two about to deliver the baby, what happened is um the baby had Okay, comes out, then we track back. Okay, we call it total sign. What is your diagnosis and your management? What is your diagnosis and the management? What is your diagnosis and your management? The sign tell you the shoulder is locked in place. He's startled. He poke his head and then he go back, he go his head back and forth. So that's a total sign. So shoulder problem, right? So how will you hold the shoulder in place? You got to hold it in place. Don't tell me left lateral. And the key word is 
don't do bundle pressure. You will see that answer choice because everybody picked that answer choice. Don't do bundle pressure. So don't pick this answer choice. And don't forget, every time they ask you this question, or oh, is a case study, is coming. Ed comes out, then it retracts back. It's a total sign. Show that distortion. What is your managing? How do you prevent it? What is the key aspect of that? What is the most important aspect of that? Enemy to here. Time is your enemy. If this continue for five minutes, baby is in trouble. Asphyxiation. So we want to deliver the baby as much as possible. So you want to time it. But I want to know how can we deliver the baby? What do we have to do? I've given you a clue. Do not push on the fundus. So go look for it. Mark Roberts. Mark Roberts' maneuver is to help deliver the baby. It does not involve fundal pressure. There's something you got to do with the leg, and there's some counter retraction to that. So that's your homework. Good luck for it. And good luck. Take care. All the best of luck.